first of all, a lot of most of the children being born don't have completely healthy guts. So that's just overall like a basis for most of most of the things. What will sometimes happen and this is she used it if you read I think the newest um yeah, the newest edition. edition of her book has a chapter on it and I have read it yet, but it hasn't but um she uses a specific patient of hers in that chapter but this is what she told us. There's a healthy girl who's eating regular healthy organic food, her parents are whatever they are, they're just a normal family. And the daughter decides she wants to be a vegetarian because forever whatever reason, vegetarianism is her way of that's what she wants to do. And so she stops eating meat, and so sometimes they'll even go vegan or raw, so they'll cut out all animal fats from their diet. So then their immune system is compromised. That leads to the infections and those sort of illnesses that leads into the bouts of antibiotics and just that cycle of antibiotic. She's sick, more antibiotics, until finally her... Her gut is so unhealthy that it's with it's the psychology. It goes up into the brain, and so there's so much toxicity in her brain that one day she looks in the mirror, and her self perception has been warped into because the teenage generation is so influenced by society's standards of skinniness and low car um, low calorie, just all that stuff gets forced onto us that. That's what she sees when she looks in the mirror is someone who's not what society's normal is. So it's all in the brain that it's her self perception. So then she starts eating less, she becomes unhealthy, and it's just that vicious cycle of anorexia. And Dr. McBride doesn't believe that necessarily like rehabilitation centers are nest are very good because she goes there, like a typical girl goes there, and she's pretty much force fed because she knows that if she eats what they give her, she'll be able to get out. And so once that happens, then most likely she'll just go back into that vicious cycle of just starving herself. And so how Dr. Natasha says, well, like her approach at killing it is just a little bit in starting with the broth because broth is one of those things that if it's one of those anorexic girls that's just like stuck on calories broth is low calorie like it's like water with stuff in it and so you just slowly give her broth as much as she'll take until finally there's what she calls a bingo day where she looks in the mirror and her self-perception isn't the worst thing that it used to be and she looks in the mirror and she says I'm way too skinny my hair is falling out like my skin is gray I look horrible and so that's when you start incorporating like meat and vegetables and more things into the broth and so it's just regular gap protocol but you have to reach that bingo day because if not most of them won't eat it so